everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again. And this video was shot yesterday, Wednesday, March 18th. And this is when uh, Steve Sislak ordered all gaming to shut down in the state of Nevada. To prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus, every casino in Nevada has shut down. All gaming has ceased. Not really much to do in this town right now with everything closed. But I figure I'd go out for a ride. The traffic's so light right now, I can actually ride out in the street and uh, not worry about getting run over or anything like that. Everybody's just kind of going about their day and uh, going and getting their supplies and heading home. You can see off to the right here, we have the Cal Neva, and on the left, we have Harrah's. Hopefully, Cal Neva will open up pretty soon, but Harrah's, uh, this might seal the fate for them because they were due to close this building in November and turn it into housing. So I doubt we're going to see Harrah's open back up again here in Reno. All the doors on the casinos have temporary closed. Next part of Reno we're in here is the Riverwalk, and this should be full of people and the bars open and spring breakers out and college kids out having a good time. But as you can see, it's just a ghost town right now. Next place we're going to hit is Wingfield Park down in the middle of Reno. It's a beautiful little park with a stage in the middle of it for outdoor venues. This part of the river walk right here next to Wingfield should be one of the busiest spots in Reno, but it is absolutely dead right now with everything closed. Um, you rarely see this few of people, even when I'm riding around right now, that it's uh, like 36 degrees outside and getting close to snowing. You should see at least a, a good chunk of people out here on the river walk. There's only like maybe one or two little groups out here just kind of hanging out since all the bars and the pubs and everything's closed. But let's take a quick ride through the uh, main part of the park and kind of just loop back around and we'll head out towards the sands and the other side of town there. Now, I'd say Wingfield Park would be an ideal place to go for uh, getting a little air during the uh, COVID outbreak. There's not a whole lot of people in the parks right now. You can take your dog out so your dog's not going crazy. Um, just keep your social distancing. Plenty of room for people to wander around in the park and not come in contact with each other. But it, it will definitely, if you go out for a little bit and just go stand in the park, it'll definitely help with the cabin fever make you a little less crazy, possibly save your marriage. And your dog will love you for it. But anyway, let's continue looking around downtown. Uh, we're going to head out towards the side of downtown by the sands and go check that out right now. And just to continue our ride through Reno. We're riding back down 2nd Street from the Riverwalk there. Uh, the Sands Casino is off to our left right now. Not in frame. But it's kind of a cycler's paradise in Reno right now. Uh, not a whole lot of cars on the street. The ones that are out on the street are paying mind to everything around them and stuff like that. So it's actually been kind of nice riding a bike through downtown today. Let's take a ride down into Midtown Reno. As you can see, the Virginia Street construction is still rocking pretty heavy right there. Uh, this is a pretty busy part of the neighborhood right here. This part of Midtown houses a lot of the mom-and-pop uh, eateries and restaurants in Reno that the locals go to. And I'm really worried about these people because the overhead in this neighborhood to run a business is ridiculously high with the rents. So if you have a favorite place, I would recommend you go in and get a gift card and just give them a little bit of extra income to get through this. So I'm just firing back up Center Street here, heading back towards the Cal Neva. Uh, this is another big jumping spot when the uh, college breaks are going on because this is where all the locals hang out. As you can see, our buses are still running. Um, schedule's pretty good. Uh, what they're doing is they're running a, a loop in the bus and then they stop at the main bus station, disinfect the bus, and then run another loop. So there's going to be some time delays, but the employees and managers at RTC are keeping the buses running, so much respect for that. One of my favorite hotels coming up on the right here. They always have great stuff on the billboard. It said, don't be crazy today, which is a good idea to follow. So I hope you enjoyed my little ride around Reno here while everything's closed. Um, Till next time, instead of building stuff and having fun, you just stay safe, have fun, 
work on some projects, and stay in the house.